the Israeli governments portray themselves as peace-loving upholders of high moral principles. And yet, they have claimed to be the protectors of human rights. And yet, they proclaim that they are the only democratic country in the Middle East. And yet, they humbly depict themselves as a small existentially threatened country surrounded by bloodthirsty killers who want to eradicate her from existence. And yet, they profess that they want to be friends with Saudi Arabia. And yet, all Israeli governments are the last of the Western colonizing powers of the Middle East. And yet, Israeli governments have arrested thousands of the inhabitants of the lands they are colonizing and incarcerated them in concentration camps under the flimsiest of security accusations, young and old, women and men, who are rotting there without recourse to justice. They are demolishing homes as they wish, and they assassinate whomever they want to. And yet, the Israeli Knesset passed a law that defines the citizenship of Israel as exclusively Jewish denying the non-Jewish inhabitants of Israel of equal rights under the law. What kind of democracy is that? More than 200 nuclear weapons are their so-called Armageddon deterrent. And yet, while waging wars on Hamas, Israeli governments are funneling Qatari financial support for what they say is a terrorist group. And yet, Proffering friendship to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia has not stopped the Israeli, the successive Israeli governments from unleashing their political minions and their media hounds from all countries to denigrate and demonize Saudi Arabia. At the beginning of my remark, I would like to express my regret on the comments of the Saudi representative, the foreign minister. I don't believe that uh, they reflect the spirit and the changes uh, taking place in the Middle East.